Hello everybody, Skyrope33 here, and today I guess we are going to be looking at some fan art! Woo! So, uh, a couple days ago I asked a bunch of people if they wanted to try to make some fan art based on the When Fate Comes Knocking series, um, and to post it on the Discord, and then I would make like a little reaction thing to it. Um, I have seen a lot of these already, um, but what I've seen so far is really cool, so I hope you guys will enjoy. Now as for like, um, who made each piece of art, I'll just say their Discord names because they don't really have a way of saying like, YouTube names because people didn't really put who they are. So this is them at least on Discord or maybe they also have the same name with uh, a YouTube channel or something, but yeah. But before we get into the fan art, I just wanted to give a couple shout outs to the people that won the shout outs um, in the When Fate Comes Knocking uh, shout out thingy that I did. So pretty much the rules were um, you had to comment on every single video, so there was 22 total videos, and um, a lot of people commented on some videos, but they didn't get all the videos. Um, and I was saying that the first three people to comment on anything on every video would get a little shout out. So um, I ended up finding four people that commented on all of the videos, and I decided to go ahead and say all four of them, and then I've got a couple runner-ups because they were really close to commenting on all of them, but then just didn't finish for some reason. So, yeah. Alright, so first up, we've got uh, KidWaffle120. So, as far as I know, you were the first person to complete the little challenge, so congratulations on that. The other ones were Bendy and the Dark Taco. Uh, you commented quite a bit, so that was fun. And then we've got I'm gonna put all their names on the side here. We've got NNM777, and you commented on everything, congratulations. And then we've also got uh, so, uh, Sobri Extra, I think that's how you would say that, but their names are all right here. So these are all four of the people that commented on all 22 separate videos. And then there were two runners up that commented on a lot of the videos but didn't get all 22. There was Molten Backup, uh, Pineapple Boy himself. <laughs> uh, he commented on 21 videos so I felt really bad leaving him out of it so uh, congratulations you're a runner-up. Um, your name is also right here. Woo, look at that. And then also Soul Plays got 18 of the uh, different ones. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little uh, shout out game thing. Maybe I'll try it again on some other kind of thing. But with that much being said, we're gonna get into the fan art. So first one right here. Uh, I really like this one actually just because of the simplicity of it and how it kind of looks like it's like crayon or pencil um, and just like the style they did. I really actually enjoy it. The person that posted it on Discord is just called JK. I think you did an awesome job so thank you so much for that. Next we got this piece by Bendy Boo, who posted it a couple times, but this was the first one. Um, so it's supposed to be the scene from the setting of Trap 1 when uh, 31 has his gun behind uh, the evil me. Um, and I think it looks pretty good, like definitely for just like a pencil drawing. He did a really good job, especially with the gun there. I just uh, really like it. I think he posted it a couple times, so if I can find the better picture I'll put that up as well. And then we got uh, this Minecraft skin that was sent to me over Twitter by Mark Gaming. So this is the front, it's supposed to be the evil uh, Warp Sky guy, and then this is the back. So I think he did a really good job on making like a cute little Minecraft skin, so thank you buddy. Now a lot of people are asking me what the name of the evil version of myself is, and the simplest answer is, I don't have a name for him yet. So, he has a bunch of things that I refer to him as, but as for like an official name, he hasn't had one yet. Um, different things I refer to him as, the first one is Warped Sky, so I pretty much take Sky Warp and flip it. Um, that's one of the things I would always refer to him as when I'm like doing my video editing. Um, I, a cool one I heard over YouTube was uh, Dark Warp, which I thought was kind of a neat name. Um, 31 in the series calls him 
uh, the entity because he's kind of a conglomeration of a lot of different things. And then I've had a couple other people come up with some kind of neat names, but I just can't think of them at the moment. Another one that I thought would be kind of a neat name for him would be Discord, but it's kind of like ripping on the My Little Pony thing, so I don't really know about that. But <clears throat> with a, a new video that's going to be coming out with hopefully in a few days, um, you guys will see a little thing, which I mean, kind of like the whole Discord idea. So stay tuned for that. Back to the fan art. So Tux Carter actually bleh, voice crack. So Tux Carter actually posted a couple pictures. Um, this was the first uh, one he posted, which it was like a little work in progress of the entity, um, which this is like his face doing the whole creepy smile thing. I think he did a pretty good job. I think later he posted the finished picture. Let's see. Yep, here it is. So here's the finished one. I kind of like how it looks because he went and put uh, red and like a blue and a green on there rather than sort of keeping it all like gray and red. He threw some blue in there as well. So I quite enjoy this little picture. Thank you a lot, buddy. All right. Next is probably one of my favorites. Um, so Zarek the dog actually uh, made this piece for me. Um, and threw it into the thing, and I think it looks awesome. So, <clears throat> he's, uh, I don't know if Zarek's uh, a boy or a girl, but they pretty much uh, did the evil entity as like half me, half monstrosity, where um, instead of like a little blade hand, he's got like a, a crazy claw monstrosity thing coming out of his arm, and then his like leg is also turning into a, uh, Creepy monster, the same with his face, and it looks like his other hand is as well. I really enjoy this picture just because, like, they got it, it looks so good. And it's kind of funny because, um, in the original script for the video, it was originally going to be like a five part, uh, just series where it's just like each video happens and th different things goes on, and then it eventually turned into the When Fate Comes Knocking set of videos. But in the original videos, the ending was going to have um, the two versions of myself and a couple other characters fighting a, a monstrosity version of uh, Warp Sky, <coughs> which strangely enough looks a lot like this picture, but I never told anyone about that, but that was kind of the idea I was going for, where he was going to like have his head messed up and then he was going to come back with like a big smile and like red eyes and stuff and then he was gonna be like more monster than than like human um, and then they were gonna like fight him in like an epic climactic thing but I didn't tell anyone about that but somehow somebody came up with this idea and I think it just looks awesome so yeah thank you a lot for this picture I really quite enjoy it so I'm not sure how to say your name but it's spelled like this it's like a uh, written uh, something. Uh, they posted a couple pictures. The first one was this little uh, My Little Pony one where they made like my own little uh, brony character. They put my uh, YouTube logo as the little uh, cutie mark thing. I thought it was pretty cute so thank you for that. They also posted another one later um, uh, that was still ponies but then it was like more having to do with the topic so we'll, we'll probably get to that in just a little bit but thank you for this. Alright, so next we got this piece by Blue the Gamer, I believe his name is, or their name is. And it's supposed to kind of be like a, uh, a take on the thumbnail idea I made. Um, and I really like how it looks, so um, they got regular me and then evil uh, Warp Sky version of me. I like the little flame coming out of his eye rather than it just being like a red point. It looks really cool. I, I really like the sharp teeth people keep giving him, which I think would be like a really fun addition to the character. Because like, I, whenever I was doing stuff with him, I was kind of trying to make him feel kind of more like a Pennywise looking type thing, where instead of looking at a person, he was kind of looking through them kind of a thing, and it was just like, he looked human, but he just didn't look quite right kind of a thing. So. Maybe in uh, chapter two, if I ever eventually do end up making it, I would figure out a way to give him sharp teeth or something like that. That could, that could be a lot of fun. But yeah, thank you for this piece, dude. I love it. Next, we got a cute little piece right here. It's a little blurry, but uh, it's by uh, Bonnie the Bunny. 
um, and it's supposed to be the thumbnail, so they didn't do any color, but I still can tell that uh, it's supposed to be evil me and normal me, and it's supposed to be like the thumbnail. I think just for doing a quick little pen or pencil sketch, you did a really good job, so thank you for that. Also looks like they post or posted another picture of one, kind of like the true ending, so I'm assuming the lines are supposed to kind of be like the road, and then like, it's just the congratulations you found the true ending text on there, so I thought that was kind of cute as well. They might have posted a few other things as well, so we'll see. Oh, here we are with the uh, the other pony one. So <laughs> we got Evil Skywarp 33 and Good Skywarp 33, um, and they kind of took. I think it was. I'm not a brony, but I think that was Nightmare Moon or something like that, and the the Queen Pony, and he kind of they kind of painted the good looking one to kind of be like the color scheme of normal me, and then they painted the bad looking one to look like the evil version of me, which I think is like a cute little concept, so thank you for that. Alright, next is by Dextra Texta, or Dexta Texta. So this is pretty simple, but like I really like it. Like I don't know, but like it's just like a cute little guy version of uh, the entity or Warp Sky or Dark Sky or whatever people have been calling him. Um, but I just really like the look at, of them because they did the, uh, I don't know what the effect is called, but it's where you take the three colors and kind of move them slightly around, around the text and his hands down there, and it just looks really good. And I'm assuming it's like the, the parts when he like pops up behind, uh, me and he's like, ha, I found you! Um, and then you get, get like a game over and stuff, but I just really like this piece. So, thank you a lot for that, my buddy. So next is by Darkened Fate. It's his name is kind of like Rune Stones, so it's kind of hard to read. But I believe it's supposed to be Darkened Fate. Um, so it's another little take on the thumbnail, but I quite enjoy the little differences they did on this. So <clears throat> instead of having Warp Sky on the side um, like normal, they flipped them. So um, it's just a little different rather than being like a direct copy of the thumbnail. Um, I like the little red and green background because they're like complementary colors. Um, I love the sharp teeth and the fact that you actually put the um, the, the little hashtag or like WFCK for when fate comes knocking um, on the side there. And I just really like the different expressions. So I like how normal me is like, oh, this is bad, and then other me is like, hello there. Um, I, I, I keep saying it, but you guys are awesome, so thank you so much for posting these. Alright, next couple are from uh, JBear5388, um, and so they did a little text thing saying, When Fate Comes Knocking, fan art by Matthew. I'm assuming that's your name, so thank you for the submissions. Um, here is a little picture they did. It's a little blurry, but as far as I can tell, it's supposed to kind of be like a redo of the thumbnail, um, and I think it turned out pretty good. So they got the different colors, the grays and the reds and all that stuff. And I really enjoy that people really like the thumbnail because I wasn't sure if people would like it. So I tried quite a few different things and people seem to really like drawing the thumbnail. So it makes me happy that other people actually like how it turned out. So I'm glad that you wanted to make the thumbnail as well. So thank you for this piece. Time for a couple pieces from the Mad Lab himself. Mad Lab? Mad Lad? Blah, 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 blah. Mad Lad himself, Madness Freddy. So he's one of my moderators over on my Discord. There's a link in the description if you ever want to join us. But he posted a couple different pictures. Uh, we'll start with this one. So this is just um, <clears throat> the entity or warp sky standing there being all sorts of creepy. I like how he did it um, like pretty much 100% black and white, except he still did um, a really bright red for the eyes. <clears throat> I think it turned out really well. I quite enjoy that. And he also gave him sharp teeth, which a lot of people keep doing that, so maybe I'll have to implement that into the character sometime. And then the second piece he posted was this thing, which I don't know how well you'll be able to see it on the dark background, but um, he actually has, he gave it horns and spikes coming out the back here, and he has a giant tail with a blade on the end of it now, and a giant giant blade hand instead of just like a little blade hand it's like a full-on sword thing which I think that looks 
freaking dope, dude. Um, I really like the face you gave it, where it kind of went full of black, but then like broke apart into this giant smile thing, which also is very like reminiscent of that idea I was talking about earlier. So that's kind of an interesting coincidence. But yeah, I love the glitch effect you threw on top of it. So yeah, dude, awesome job. All right, next is just another little submission by J Bear. Uh, I believe he said it was supposed to be a little mask that he's making to try to make the, the warp sky face, so cute little thing you do on there. Alright, next we've got um, Bendy Boo again, he reposted the same picture but in a better quality this time, so hopefully you'll be able to see it, but this is that picture I was telling you all about um, earlier. So yeah, Bonnie the Bunny also posted another little congratulations you found the failure ending rather than the true ending, which I thought was kind of like a cute little thing someone made. So yeah, thank you again for that. And then Bendy Boo also posted a new picture, which is um, Normal Sky on the, the like red door ending, I can't remember what it was called. It was called... The real life ending, that's what it was. So it was supposed to be kind of like a spoof on the Matrix where he wakes up in like a dark void area and he's got like a mask on. And this is like the, that very first shot when he's just like, Bleh, sort of a thing. I think you did a really good job on the mask there. Thank you so much for posting so many pictures. All right, guys, next up we've got one by Star Platinum here and I really enjoy this one. So it looks kind of like a pencil or pen drawing, but it's of the entity or warp sky and pretty much they did an excellent job making him look super creepy which <coughs> fun fact um, a, a new project I'm working on um, <laughs> in the uh, when fate comes knocking universe he actually does like almost this exact pose which I think is kind of hilarious because I swear I didn't I didn't take it from this but he does like this whole thing where he's like this and then he like puts his hands down and he kind of looks like this picture but yeah, so that's another little sneak peek for you guys. But I really like how this is looking. Um, I especially love that you used more than just red and gray, that you threw some blue in there. And it just looks really good, kind of mixing back and forth. And sharp teeth, I'm definitely going to have to add that eventually. Um, but yeah, you are really good at drawing, my dude. So thank you so much for your submission. I love it. One more by Jay Bear. He just did a quick little... Congrats, you found the It's Not Human ending, so yeah, I thought that was a cute little submission. Alright, we got one by Dexter on here, which I believe, I could be wrong, but Dexter, are you Soul Plays? I'm pretty sure you said you were Soul Plays, so if I'm wrong, this is awkward, but yeah. Uh, so it's of kind of like a mix of the thumbnail and just like some other stuff. So it's like a half and half of Normal Me and Warp Sky or The Entity. Um, and there's like a, a pair of creepy eyeballs up above and like a bunch of ones and zeros because I like doing secret little codes in binary. And then he's also got the blade hand and like the glitch effect. Dude, love it. You did a great job. Thank you so much. Ooh! Also, the next is by Twin Cat Lovers. And they did a really interesting looking one. It kind of looks like the thumbnail, but it's also different, so... <laughs> I have to look a little closer, but uh, it's supposed to be normal me and the evil me, which they did a couple liberties, which I think actually look really cool. So instead of having a different hoodie, it's just full on black shirt and skin. Um, but his mouth is like breaking up and you can see like his teeth and stuff on the inside there, which looks really cool. Um, I thought his eye just had like cracks around it when I was first scrolling through here, but now <laughs> if I look closer, um, he actually has like a bunch of different eyeballs just sort of peeking out. So all of those little red things, I don't know how well we can see, maybe I'll put a zoom on it. Um, but those are different eyeballs. So that, that's creepy dude. Why? Ugh, that's creepy. Uh, <laughs> but you did an awesome job, so thank you so much for the submission. I also just really like the way... Are you kidding me? No! My memory card ran out! No! Oh well. Uh, yeah, I really like the way uh, his... the normal face looks. So, <laughs> I guess we're finishing this up without uh, webcam. So, yeah, next, <laughs> here we go. 
All right, we don't have a whole lot more, but we are almost there. So the last one is by that crazy gay demon. That's a fun name. So it looks like a cute little pencil drawing of evil me grabbing normal me, and he's got like chains or something around my wrists. That's a pretty cool idea. So thank you for the submission, buddy. Then we've got one by Hunter uh, 5123, which it looks like it look, uh, looks like a bit of the thumbnail again, but kind of a mix of when normal me has the mask on from the uh, from the real life ending, um, and then also uh, warp sky being all gray, big old smile and red eyes, and then they put when fate comes knocking on it. I like that they tried to add the whole glitch effect around the top corners and going through the middle there. I think it looked pretty good. So yeah, thank you, buddy. All right, looks like we got one last one from J Bear. <laughs> he posted a little one of the uh, the hand coming out of the door here. So I think it actually looks pretty good. Uh, they colored it and everything. So <clears throat> it's supposed to be the scene when Warp Sky first shows up, bursting through the wall. Um, and I think you did a great job on this, buddy. I really quite enjoy it. All right, and I think this is the last piece that we have. Uh, it's by uh, another one of my mods. I think your name is pronounced. I don't know how your name is pronounced. Is this guy? I don't know how to say that. But this is the piece right here. I think you did an awesome job. Um, so I, I like that you put a little blood coming out of the mouth and eye there, and then the uh, the other eye is all broken open and you can see all the red on the inside. I assume it's supposed to be that it's not human. Oh, yeah, it actually says it's not human behind there. So it's supposed to be kind of a take on that ending. Um, and then he's got his blade hand, but he kind of went and took some liberties and made it look more like, um, not tentacles, but kind of like, weird metal flesh stuff coming out kind of forming a pointed object which i think that looks pretty dope um so i definitely like the little liberties you took with the the blade hand and the teeth and the eye i dude this piece is awesome so thank you again for posting it hey guys looks like we got one just in time from molten backup um right before i closed the channel off um because i was in the middle of editing but he sent this one in um it looks like it's me clicking the button and being like hey, hey got him uh i think it looks pretty good so yeah thank you buddy for sending this in and <laughs> yeah just barely made it so <laughs> all right have a good one so yeah, I quite enjoyed all these pieces you guys threw in here. This was really fun, so thank you again for submitting different pieces of artwork for this. Um, if I should do it again, would you guys want to choose a different theme or just do regular Skywarp uh, fan art or something? Because I, I wouldn't mind taking a look at more of your guys' fan art. This is pretty fun. But yeah, with that much being said, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Uh, bye bye now. God bless.